Does anybody just want to come over and watch the extended version of Lord of the Rings while having homemade snacks and drinking your favorite booze? I'm just looking for basically a warm body who doesn't talk too much during movies. This is what I call things women over 30 say that are absolutely laughable. Because, again, this chick is... I've talked about her before. I've seen a few of her other uh, little rants, but she's not a bad looking girl, okay? She's not a she's not a model, don't get me wrong, anything like that, but she's not a bad looking girl. As a matter of fact, on this very TikTok video that she uploaded, she was like, does anybody just wanna come over and cuddle and just watch Lord of the Rings and all this? I mean, there were like a number of these simps in the comments going, oh, me girl, I'll come, tell me where and when, I'll fly out to you, oh my goodness, I'll come right now, oh, I will drop everything I'm doing to see you. Did she respond to any of those dudes? Nope, nope. Just like the guys in her friend zone. She responded to them? Nope. So this is why I tell you guys, stop feeling sorry for these chicks who are still pretty decent looking that have tons of beta orbiters already. You don't need to become another one. Right? These chicks have tons of these guys that they can easily, like in her case, she could easily invite over to eat popcorn, watch Lord of the Rings, and sit there and be a warm body. No, she doesn't want those guys. What she's really talking about is she wants the Chad to come over. She wants Chad to drop everything he's doing, come over, cuddle with her, eat popcorn, watch Lord of the Rings, and not say anything during the movie. Right? And she would probably attack Chad physically. So, I mean, that's what she really wants if we are to translate womanese into English. So, again, what women say versus what women do are two different things. Because a lot of simps will watch these videos, videos like her, playing victim, like, oh, no, I can't find a man, nobody wants me. And they will actually feel sorry for her. And they will drop comments under the video going, oh, girl, I'll come right now. You just say the word. I'll buy the popcorn. I'll buy the booze. I, you know, I'll pay for the Netflix movie. Oh, you tell, you say the word, girl. Where do you live? Does she respond? Of course not. Because she ain't looking for you, son. She's not looking for you. She already has thousands of you in her friend zone. No, she wants Chad. She wants Tyrone. She wants Pookie. She wants Ray Ray. She wants those guys. She wants those guys to come over, but they can't right now. You know why? Because they're out there banging other women. They're busy. The last thing they want to do is come over and watch Lord of the Rings. They want to come over and, you know, put their pee-pee in her ring. That's what they want to do. So that's who she wants to come over. All of you betas who are, like, completely enabling these girls and, you know, whipping out your violin for them and, you know, playing your harps for them and all this other stuff, feeling sorry for them. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. This chick... She's a good looking chick. I'm telling you right now, like even her stepping outside of the house, she's probably had a few guys, at least a half a dozen guys check her out, maybe uh, cat call a little bit, maybe even approach her. Okay, maybe even approach her. If I saw her out walking around, she's still in her like, she looks to me like she's like in her mid 20s. She's like 29 apparently, but I would think she'd be in her mid 20s. I would talk to her. I would like strike up a conversation, see what she's about. So, I mean, it's laughable to me that she's sitting there acting as if she's like, uh, you know, like this two in looks and obese and like repulsive that nobody wants. Like, no, girl, tons of guys will hop in the sack with you. Tons of guys will just sit there and watch Lord of the Rings with you um, and not expect anything. You know what you call those guys? You call those guys your friend. They're just my friend, but they want to be more than that. But you don't want them to be more than that because they're not good enough for you because they don't ghost you enough. They don't uh, disrespect you enough. They don't back talk you enough, All right? They open doors too much for you. They're too chivalrous. Guy bought me flowers. What is he thinking? That's creepy. That's creepy. So the reason why you're watching Lord of the Rings by yourself is because of you and your high standards. It has nothing to do with the fact you can't get guys. It has everything to do with the fact that you are not willing to lower your standards and you are not willing to, to exile your obsession with chasing chads. So sad whenever I see this guy. So sad. Anyway, let's roll on to another quick clip. Uh, and I forgot this, which clip we're about to watch. So let's find out. Roll it. I don't know who needs to hear this, but um, 
guys better take it the road. First off, let me just say this chick is completely vile, vulgar, typical Jezebel, potty mouth, just looks at men like objects, right, as versus people. Uh, but I mean, this, I, I'm not even surprised coming from this chick because when I see girls out like this, when I'm out doing cold approach, I avoid these chicks like the plague. There was a time when I was younger, I didn't know any better, I would still approach them. I'm like, oh, maybe she's a cold chick. But after so many years of dealing with that type of chick and that type of personality uh, and just seeing, like, seeing it play out, I'm like, these chicks are always bad news. So automatically you could see this girl with like the 10 inch fake ass eyelashes that look ridiculous. You could see her with the overdone eyebrows that look like she spent uh, some money on, good, uh, good amount of change on. And uh, also looks like she may have done her lips, which is very common with these chicks. And also she has the inevitable nose ring going on uh, through her nostril. And I always wonder how these chicks like actually like pick their nose with it. Like nose ring. How do you pick your nose, girl? I mean, like, do you just leave your boogers in there and stuff? I mean, to me, I'm just, I'm always like mystified by that. I mean, I find it kind of gross because at some point we all have to kind of pick our nose, right? Maybe to blow our nose if we don't want to pick our nose, but how do you do it with that big ass ring in there? And I could just like imagine the amount of like crud piling up on that ring, but that's just my own thoughts. So uh, anyway, typical Jezebel, th this is typically uh, something a Jezebel would say, oh, there's better dick in the world. Oh yeah, never mind the fact that he might be a bad person, abusive, uh, you know, narcissistic, whatever. Oh, those things don't matter. Ah, all that matters is, is it good dick or not? It's like, oh, forget the fact that, hey, maybe I should be looking for a guy who's a good person, treats me well, respects me, uh, maybe a little old-fashioned, gentleman, chivalrous, you know, guy with values, guy with morals. No, no, no. I'm all about the dick. This is what I mean by Jezebels. This is what I mean by modern day women, guys. And unfortunately, there are too many women out there like that. And these are exactly the type of women that uh, I encourage you guys to stay clear of because they will only bring chaos into your life, right? They will only bring chaos into your life. And notice, I mean, a lot of people, like a lot of guys who follow me tend to think like, oh my gosh, all women are like this now. And they're not, okay? So I don't want to like demoralize you and make you think like, oh my goodness, all women, all of them, all of them are like this. It's like, no, there is a small minority of good women out there that you could find. If you go out enough, you'll find them. You'll find them when you least expect it. Um, this is not to say that they are not hypergamous or they, you know, that you could just all of a sudden put your feet up on your couch and not do a thing. I mean, you still have to game them. That's, you know, that's just part of life. You have to, you can never stop gaming your girlfriend or your wife or your LTR. Uh, that stuff has to continue if you want her to stay attracted to you, right? But there are good women out there who don't, who would never talk like this, who are not vulgar, who are not um, buying into uh, all of this like postmodern feminism or the ideology of it or the values of it or the woke culture you see now. A lot of there are a lot of women out there that don't buy into that crap, and those are the ones that I try to teach you to date. And, you know, for a lot of you guys, you're still looking to date. You're still, you know, you're looking to have a family one day. Those are the girls that you want to focus on and completely ignore the 90% of females out there that are now indoctrinated and brainwashed with all of this, like, modern day female type toxicity, right? All of this ideology. Those are the ones I, that I encourage you to stay away from. And that is the point of a lot of these red pill coaching videos and whatever you want to call it. I... That's just the basic metaphor for it these days. But uh, basically, these videos where we're talking about things that are based on reality and not fantasy, where we're exposing female nature, that is why I teach you guys this stuff. I'm trying to teach you what is out there and what to avoid, which is like 90% of women, unfortunately, right? 90% of women out there have been brainwashed with this crap, this like feminist garbage, right? And even some of these good women you meet will have a little bit of that indoctrination. At least you can easily like bang out with some logic, right? If they date you long enough and you show that you're the man, you're the leader of that relationship, they will start to listen to you. They will start to agree with your beliefs because deep down inside they feel that way. It's just they've been brainwashed with all of this malarkey that 
they think that that's how they're supposed to be. And women don't aren't really leaders. They just kind of go along to get along. They're pretty much followers. So your job as the man in her life is to lead her out of that garbage, out of that toxicity. And I've been able to do that with a number of girls that I've dated in the past who are good women. They kind of had a little coffee shop feminist values and ideas for some reason that nobody ever banged out of them. And then I was able to be that guy. Right? I was like, no, this is why this is dumb, girl. This is why this is stupid. This is what inevitably they're trying to do with this ideology. They're trying to tear apart families, the nuclear family, because they want to destroy the patriarchy because they, they hate men. They want to destroy men and they want to build up the matriarchy thinking that this is going to be the way. And ultimately, what they want to do is they want to create a socialist environment, a communist environment. They want to remove our freedoms, remove capitalism. But then the girl starts to hear my logic. I mean, at the core, she already believed this stuff. But once she hears a man actually say these things, then she's like, oh, shoot. Yeah, I've always believed that. I believe like in my heart. You're right. And I agree with you. And then she she stops adopting those feminist values. Right. But she's still a woman, still has female nature and you still have to watch her ass. But that's the reason why you're plugged into the 33 secrets. That's why you're subscribed here, because I teach you how to do that. And as always, guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video, her little rant here, as well as the other uh, ginger chick. Let's talk about how lonely she is. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you buy it or not. Click that link below. Love to read your comments. Love to see you guys in my comments. And I do try to read as many of them as possible. So drop your comments below. I'm going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets, signing out here from my garage with the DeLorean. And... Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also hit that notification bell right next to it so you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Helps me out a ton when you subscribe. So please make sure you're subscribed to my channel as well so it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content that I'm teaching you even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I am teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, same exact type of women that myself and my students all over the world are out there cold approaching every single day. Day. And I kid you not, every single day we're making things happen. And I want you to join us. I want you to become one of us. And right now it's only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me. It's just one dollar. It's really easy to sign up. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you could get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.